Baltimore offense at the line, set to get going. And this offense, last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board. But we'll... see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to give a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was going to say, maybe makes that offense feel good when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that'll loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. Here's a second and two now from the 33. A quick throw here out to Brown. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. Seven yards there and a first down. For a Baltimore Raven. First and 10 at the 40-yard line. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Incomplete. Brings up second and 10 at the 40-yard line. Throwing again. McNair. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. On third down, McNair. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The Ravens get a new set of downs, give them 17 on that pickup. On first down, it's Bush. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. At the 24-yard line. On first and 10, McNair and quickly into the hands of Waller. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. An next teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. and He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, I, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Third down and two. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Here's a quick throw out left. It's complete. 
Great job of tackling there to prevent the first down. One of the toughest skills in football, open field tackling. A lot of times one-on-one -on -one against a shifty receiver. He got it done in a nice way that time. And the Ravens are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. They'll run it with Bush. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. An eight-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens have taken the early lead. Quite the drive there to get things started. They took up the bulk of the first quarter. And they end up in the end zone. And I love your last point. Ended up in the end zone. Because a lot of teams like those long drives, especially to keep their offense off the field, right? Keep the ball away from them but they finished it with a touchdown. That's the exclamation point. Now flip it over defensively. They've got to slow that down somehow, right? Maybe they need to be a little more aggressive, maybe a few more pressures towards the quarterback. Space to maneuver at the 40. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That one good for 21 yards, and it's going to yield a new set of downs. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. On first down, far. Man open, that's Calvin Ridley. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards, and it'll be second and very short. 10 yards on the pickup. It's second and inches at the Ravens' 44-yard line. Check, check, check. Now Sanders. And there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. From the shotgun, it's far. This one taken in by Hester. And he's taken down inside the 30. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. Gain of 18 on the play. And the Falcon first down. And they'll throw on first down with far. This will be caught inside the 10. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Julio Jones, 29 yards. Well, the Falcons are an extra point away from tying the football game. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. At seven. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. A good balance attack for that last touchdown drive they had. Now it's time to see if they can do that again. It really becomes a tale of two play callers, doesn't it? The offensive guy, he's in sync. Everything is working pretty well for the defense. Yeah, what's guy. going on on the defensive yeah, side? That's line. a tough one because he's prepped all week as well, and he can't get a bead on exactly what they're doing right now. What he needs is one of his guys just to make a big play and disrupt things. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. get the sack down he goes okay you know my bias is about to come out here a lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back former defensive guy now as a quarterback third and long you really got to rally the troops here don't you yeah you do in a big way and what else do you have to look out for more pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well we've hit the two minute mark of the first half all knotted up at seven we remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Hey, 
Check Mike 21. Mike 21. Check Mike 21. Let's go, tackle. Let's go. We got it. Throwing on third and long. McNair. On the catch, it's Andre Johnson. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. They get a big amount back, 18 yards, but they'll still look at a fourth down now. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. They get this out quickly to the left side. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. So not only do they convert on fourth, but they pick up 22 yards in the process. First and 10 at the 48-yard line. First down, it's McNair. Escaping the pressure right. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. After all that, they only wind up with a yard. It's second down. Throwing quickly. That's caught by Brown out wide. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Out of the gun, it's McNair. Throw right side, going to be caught by Waller. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball and puts it right out there for the nice pickup. The quick throw complete into the flat out left. Not much there, only a yard. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. To throw on second down, Steve McNair. Finding his safety valve here, that's complete. McNair. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. Brings up third and And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. The career leader in field goals made knocks that one through. And the Ravens strike first at threes in. An automatic Morton Anderson does it again. Knocks another one through the post. I have to be careful because it's almost boring, you know, just how accurate he is. He knocks another one through. All-time NFL leading scorer. He's known as the Great Dane because he's from Copenhagen. And I think, Charles, he actually leads two different franchises in scoring, does he not? Well, one time he did. New Orleans Saints, 13 seasons there. Still the all-time leading scorer with them. And the Atlanta Falcons, he held that record, but Matt Bryant has since passed him. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. They'll throw now on the final play. He'll rifle this one deep right side. His time has now run out on this first half of action. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. To throw is far. Pass incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. It's now second and ten. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and ten. Throwing is far. And he will find Ridley. That's complete. 
And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Calvin Ridley, 75 yards. And the Falcons have retaken the lead. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and 10. Play action, it's McNair. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. First and 10 at the 39 yard line. Now McNair off the play fake. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A 14-yard pickup. That's 14 yards on two straight plays. You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and 10. From the gun, here's McNair. A short one here, secured by the tight end, Waller. And he's got this down to the 35. Back-to-back -back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time, and a first down. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. Operating from the gun, McNair completing it to the right side, Johnson. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. A gain of six there on first. Well, they brought the pressure, and that meant man coverage behind him, so he's still able to complete the pass. Even as he took the hit, and that's what you have to do, because I was just talking with a coach the other day, and he said, look, it's not always going to be pretty back there. You're going to have to give me completions. Even when you're taking some hits, sometimes you have to be your own blitz control, for lack of a better term. Got to make completions, step up and make those throws, and he did that. Let's go, deep. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Yeah, he's got it. And the Ravens are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Fifteen more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. First and goal at the four-yard line. First and goal, Bush. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Baltimore. Reggie Bush, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Ravens have once again taken the lead. It's good, and they'll take a 17-14 lead. Makes the score, Ravens 17. Falcons about set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. A running play there, going to get 11 as they get a quick first down. Chuck Clark brought him down. A good run there off right tackle in an old school NFL football. The right side the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive Barry line. And the, the hole closes quickly there. No, he gets maybe a couple tackle. up to the 38. A gain of two. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. 
And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. 14. Eight yards to go on second down. Now a carry for Sanders. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. From the gun, it's far. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Trying to erase that deficit all at once. One big shot. He took it. Unfortunately for him, incomplete. Down. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And no, it's incomplete. The Falcons go for it, but it doesn't work out. And the Ravens get the football back and in great shape. That he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Third down, now even tougher. Third and 13 after that loss of a yard. From the gun, McNair. And the throw there going to be incomplete. It was Desmond Trufant right there, step for step in coverage. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. On fourth down, McNair. And down he goes. A sack. They sack him back across midfield at about the 48-yard line. So that's a decision that could loom pretty large here. They go for it on fourth down, but come up empty. But I actually like the call, and the reason? It shows me a head coach has faith in his team overall. First on the offensive side, thinking they can pick it up, but also knowing that he... This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Falcons! The number 18. Calvin Ridley with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Falcons have taken the lead here in the fourth. Might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team, and then following through. All the way through. Go ahead and throw one more up there. Why not? Been a great game, and we are not done yet. Now McNair looking for a first down throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two. On second down, McNair. Quick hitter here, it's complete. That's good for a Baltimore. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. At the 38-yard line. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And he's got his man in stride, complete. That catch good for only a couple. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Back to throw. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Good positioning and it's picked off. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Falcon defense has a touchdown. It goes without saying, 